Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's my makeup collection, and I don't wanna show myself because I am very tired. I have acne stuff on my face, and I'm just not feeling like being on camera. So I'm gonna show you my makeup collection. This has been very requested, and I just wanted to say that, you know, this isn't something that I am bragging about. Um, this is something that you guys wanted to see. If you want to leave hate comments, don't. You can think the comments, but you don't have to say the comments. Yeah, um, this is my collection. This is, I love it, and makeup is a hobby. Makeup is a passion of mine, and so that's why I do it. I also do YouTube videos, so that's why I buy makeup. I buy a lot of it to try it out. So that's that. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is my desk right here. This is what I sit at and film at. Usually you are right here, but now you're right here. So this desk is from Walmart and it was like less than a hundred bucks. I got it when I first moved in my first house. Um, that was, oh gosh, almost two years ago, wow. So, yeah, this lamp is from a thrift store. This lamp is from Target. This is a sign. I think it's from, like, icing, maybe? So, um, on the top, I keep all of my brushes. So, I keep some longer-stemmed face brushes right here. Um, my eye brushes are here. And then the rest of my face brushes. This holder I got from like TJ Maxx or something. This is where I keep my sponges right now. They're dirty. But um, this is from Walmart. This holder I think is from, oh gosh, I think it's from Ulta. And in here I just have lip balms, extra brushes, eyelash curler, Anastasia setting spray, NYX setting spray. And I have a mirror right here. It's double-sided. Um, that's from Walmart. I have my lip balms. I'm trying to use this more. I use it in a boxy charm. I'll link it down below. And I have a Kisses lip balm back here from Christmas. This is my iconic Too Faced mirror. This was actually a gift with purchase from an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event. And I love it. And a lot of you are commenting how much you love it too. So that's great. Um, over here, I just have little palettes. This is like an empty shape shape. I cannot get anything else out of this. But I don't know why I have it sitting right here. <laughs> this is just smaller palettes. The Gingerbread Lane. We got some Frozen. This is what I use the spritz on my brushes with when I want to get them damp or eyeshadow, metallic shadows and stuff. I also have all my all-nighters. This is the one I'm currently using, but I'm also using the all-nighter and then the D-Slick. Up here, I have my Fenty Beauty Holiday Lip Gloss Kit for my grandparents. I love this. The boxes for the Honest, for the Anastasia, the um, Frozen ColourPop collab some lip glosses and then right here this is something that I would like to try out so I leave it up here in hopes to remember it um, over here is my Morphe 35M palette I keep it out here because I am doing a five looks one palette series so go check that out that'll be linked down below for you it's really fun and then my Sleeping Beauty eyeshadow palette I did a review on that and that'll be linked down below as well I also have a three drawer set right here looks like that very interesting so you open up the top drawer this is all of my backups these are backups these are travel sizes these are things that i just don't have not opened yet so i have backup mascaras a lot of these are from either gratis at alt from when i worked at ulta or that i got on a deal so yeah i got backup shape tapes i have my contacts up here a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex nail polish, um, more minis and whatnot. This was like a gift with purchase at Ulta. Lashes, more lashes. This I got in a boxy charm. Very interesting. Have not used it, but just stuff that I have not opened yet. So I just keep it all in there. This next drawer, I keep some of my lip glosses. So in here, I have. Too Faced, Anastasia, more Too Faced. These are still some of the 
comfort lip glazes. These are so good. And then I have more Too Faced. I have some minis back here. I love mini sized makeup. I think that's so fun. And I have some Laura Geller. I have Buxom, Huda, more of, I have these. I really like the Hardest Pro Lip Glosses from Tarte. This is really fun. It's from the Mermaid Collection. Oh no. Okay. These are bullet lipsticks. I separated them out so I don't have them intermixed with liquid lipsticks. But I have a whole bunch of, they used to be organized, but I just dig through them so often that they're just kind of all in one. So we got a lot of Smashbox, Tarte, ColourPop. I have a Clinique one before I was cruelty free. So I hadn't opened it for a while and I got it as, if you see any of these green dots, we had to do this at Ulta. It was kind of crazy. They were a little bit ridiculous with that, but and I just have some more back here. Got a lot of them. In these bins right here, I keep my eyeshadow palettes. So I have three of them. I have one, two, and three. So right here, this is I off I often will interchange them and just based off ones I want to be using versus ones that I just used, you know. Yeah, I have like Morphe, NYX, Tati Beauty, BH Cosmetics, Too Faced, Jeffree Star Too Faced. Um, BH Cosmetics, Tarte, ColourPop, Lorac, BH Cosmetics, Tarte, um, Jeffree Star, Morphe, Anastasia, Urban Decay, Dosa Colors, just you name it, it's right here. And I also have some necklaces and this cool antique Mickey that I found at a antique store. This is just more makeup palettes. Um, these are kind of overflowing. They don't fit. I got two in last month's BoxyCharm like crazy. But we got Jeffree Star, Makeup Revolution, Lorac, Anastasia, Too Faced. You name it, I have a whole palette collection. It'll be linked down below. And right here, the really bulky Jeffree Star palettes are down here. I also have some Morphe ones. We have Tarte Pure. Too Faced, same kind of brands, they're all down here. I have this Lip Smacker kit that I got for Christmas from Logan, and I absolutely love this. I actually kinda wanna keep it up here. This right here is my drawer set where I keep the rest of my makeup. Up on top, I just have like extra moisturizers, some perfumes. These Kate Spade perfumes are so good. I love them. <clears throat> I have an Ariana Grande perfume from my best friend Michaela. Um, I just have some other palettes up here, other setting sprays like this one. It's probably gonna go in a fails video. Extra moisturizers, a nice hairbrush, and an extra mic uh, microphone. I almost said microwave. Oh my goodness. It's really late when I'm filming this too, by the way, so that's also why I don't wanna show myself. So first drawer is primer, concealer, foundation, powder. Any kind of base makeup, it is right here. So um, I have a little basket. I tried to like organize it, but I'd like to do a full organization video. I think that'd be very fun. Now, you know, I work full time. I go to school full time and I upload five videos a week. So I'm kind of busy, but I'll just go through what I have. So I have the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. This is a great foundation. This is the Revolution Bacon Blot Powder. This packaging, like it looks so beat up and worn. All their kind of packaging that looks like this does it. It's ridiculous. A Touch and Soul Pretty, fil pretty, pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. Then the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder from Becca. The Lavender Fenty Powder. This stick foundation, um, I did a review on it. Mm, it's all right. I want to use it a couple more times. The Anastasia powder, my favorite favorites um, baking powder, the Cody Airspun. Fantastic. J Cat Aqua Assurance. That's a good one. Um, I have these two primers. I have the Elf Poreless Putty Primer, and then I have the matte one. The matte one just made me more greasy, so that's not good. I have a couple concealers. I have. 
Patrice. I got Morphe. Those are really nice. I really like the Morphe one. I think that one is very underhyped. I have a Jeffree Star one. Honestly, not my favorite. I just used up a Tarte Shape Tape. I really like the Tarte Shape Tape. And uh, this one. The CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Very nice. I have the Conceal and Define Foundation from what, <laughs> Makeup Revolution. That's really good. This oxidizes, but it has really great coverage. The Too Faced Do You Foundation. The Juvia's Place one, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I want to try it out again, but yeah. The Morphe one, this one's pretty good. I also have, oh my gosh, I forgot about these. The cover, um, the cover girl, oh my goodness. I can't even talk today, guys. I'm so sorry. But the ColourPop concealer and then the Fenty one as well. I keep this up here. I have Dermacol. That's really hardcore coverage. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Very nice. We have Cover FX Gripping Primer. Fantastic. The Catrice Keep Me Matte. I don't think it keeps me matte at all. A mini Laura Mercier powder. This is a fantastic primer, in my opinion. It's the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. So good. Um, this is also a really nice one. The Touch and Soul. I have a couple other. We got NYX. We got Makeup Revolution. Smashbox. This I got in a boxy charm. It's the Glow Ahead from Wander Beauty Illuminating Face Oil. It's just like... It's not oil. That's the thing. Like, it doesn't feel like oil. This was like a thicker liquid with glitter. So, <laughs> if I'm just being honest. And that's that drawer. This drawer has face palettes in it. So, I have blush and highlighter palettes from um, BH Cosmetics. I have a Tardist Pro Glow palette. A Smashbox Holiday palette. This is one of my favorites. It's the Park Avenue Princess contour palette. This is so good. I can't even open it because I have one hand free, but that's really good. This is a weird blush and highlighter trio from Wonder Beauty. Got this in a boxy charm. I only like the middle shade. I have a NARS palette. Ooh, I'm gonna get this out more. The Sweet Peach Glow. This is really nice. I have a Tarte palette. Makeup Revolution. Mm, I'm not iffy about that. Benefit. Another Makeup Revolution palette. Some smaller Tarte ones. And this, I should try this out more. The Roxosaurus Roxas, Roxas, Contour and Highlight Palette is what that looks like. I often get in my ways, I know a lot of people say this, but I often get in my ways of just using the same product every day. And I want to use, and like, I really do try to rotate through my stuff. But sometimes when you're just getting ready for work in the morning, you don't think about that. And that's so true you just don't always think about that this is more blush and highlighter so I, I put more single products in here some smaller palettes but mainly this is just mainly this is just blushes and bronzers Woo! <laughs> so i got quite i got a good collection i only have a ton of bronzer i know some of you may think it's a lot but i don't bronzer is just not something i avidly try but i have like a little rock one butter bronzer that's so good i got this at gratis at ulta this is the bye bye pores bronzer from it cosmetics this is so ironic and i'm not kidding because this literally has like shimmer in it and i don't really like see my pores go bye bye when i use this i have this big thing i got in a makeup revolution gift with purchase at ulta interesting Too faced note cosmetics laura geller bh cosmetics I have the Becca blush, Too Faced, Too Faced. Um, I have some Anastasia blush trios. These are, oh, these are fantastic. I love these. Um, this is another bronzer that I really like, the Sweetie Pie from Too Faced. This was a blush that I found over the summer at Ulta. I really like it. This one's in the shade Daydream. Super pretty. And again, with that same Makeup Revolution packaging, it looks so scraped up. I have a pretty vulgar bronzer that I got in a boxy charm. This was part of the Let It Snow Girl set from um, Too Faced. ColourPop blush. Lorac blush. This is really good. 
Too Faced blush, a tart blush, and then these nine ways the nine ways to shine set from the holidays set from Tarte. This is really good. It like swivels out. You've probably seen this, but great for travel. I have everything in one. And then for these palettes, let me just. No, I dropped one, and I hope to goodness it didn't operate. So for these palettes that I have in here. We got Wander Beauty eh, on that. Mini Too Faced from Holiday, that's good. From Tarte is fantastic. And this from Alamar is also fantastic. This is highlighter palettes. So these are not blush palettes, these are legit highlighter palettes. And I have a lot of them. Makeup Revolution, Jeffree Star, Anastasia Beach Cosmetics, Becca, no Becca. Makeup Revolution, Tarte, you name it, it's in here. This is my loose highlighter drawer. This is has liquids, it has powders. I have been really into this lately. It's the Diamond Wet Supreme Frost from Jeffree Star. La Anastasia Amrezi, we got Wet n Wild, we got Becca, Lorac, Anastasia, Colourpop, and the Too Faced. I even have some Maybelline in here from before I went cruelty free. Smashbox, Cover Girl, Cover FX. You know, again, it's all in here. Seriously. I love highlighters. I did a whole ranking my highlighters video. I will link that down below as well. And it kind of goes in depth. I got this from when BoxyCharm screwed up and gave me... <laughs> And gave me two of the same product. No, I don't really like it. It's from Natasha Denona. It's the All Over Glow. I wouldn't say this. Um, this is a poppy shimmer, but that's just me. This is my favorite drawer. This is the glitter drawer. So I have the Stila um, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows, ColourPop glitters, these Too Faced. This one always settles weird but this is what it really looks like. It just, I don't know what's up with it. None of the other ones do that, but this really like, it looks like I don't use it and I do. <laughs> Glitter glue, essential. This is like four or five bucks. We got Morphe, Urban Decay Heavy Metal. We got Cover FX, Ciate, J-Cat, BH, Tarte. Um, these glitter liners from Too Faced are phenomenal. Then we have Loose Glitter back here. Don't spend a fortune on loose glitter. NYX has it for just a few bucks. Always so pretty. I really want to do a tutorial with some loose glitter. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. If you're seeing anything, you're like, oh my god, do a tutorial with this. Girl, let me know when I will. This is um, kind of single eyeshadows and eyeliner, mascara, brows that kind of stuff. So back here I just have some Wet n Wild trios. I have ColourPop Single Shadows. I also have these Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadows. They're kind of like a knockoff of ColourPop. J-Cat. This is the J-Cat um, Chrome Eye Mousse. I have some of these Chrome Pots from Tarte. These are great. A Wet n Wild little palette. Gel Liner. MAC Paint Pot a fluid line from MAC, and a brow cream from Morphe. This activates, I guess, this is like a intensifying primer for this little eye mousse from Makeup Revolution. The iconic London brow cushion, this is really good. The e.l.f. Studio brow. This is just, it just has brow pencils, liners, mascaras. I try not to have too much of these because these go bad really quickly, so yeah, there's just a little overview of what I've decided to get right on the floor because we're getting lower and I don't really want to pick pull out these drawers all the way. But these are smaller eyeshadow palettes um, that are not like Morphe sized or something larger like this. But I have like, this came in a boxy charm. Very interesting. We got Too Faced, we got Smashbox, we got Dose of Colors, Huda Beauty, Cover Girl, but if you look down here, all of my Huda palettes right here. I love them. This one is probably like my OG favorite, but I have like Morphe, Milani, Natasha Denona. and I just did a whole in-depth tutorial using this down below. Smashbox, 
Winky Lux. We have the Soul and Mar palettes from ColourPop. But oh my goodness, yes. And then this is a great palette from Marc Jacobs, the Editorial palette. These are liquid lipsticks. And no, I'm not the most organized person around when it comes to my makeup, but we have Morphe, Smashbox, Dose of Colors, um, Too Faced, Tarte, Anastasia, NARS, Stila, Bite Beauty, Kat Von D, which isn't being called Kat Von D anymore. Interesting. Smashbox, NYX, Galactic, couple lip liners. I'm not a huge lip liner person. Um, I just think it's a waste of time. I do have this from CoverGirl. It's like a featherless clear liquid li um, lip liner. And I'm kind of interested about that. But yeah, Ciate, Hank and Henry. I tend to gravitate towards more bullet lipsticks, especially right now. I just think liquid lipsticks are so drying on the lips. My favorites are definitely Huda Beauty. Probably Too Faced as well. Mm. This drawer is the rest of my lip glosses. So we have like Dose of Colors in here. We have Too Faced Holiday, Morphe, Butter London, Anastasia. They make great lip glosses. Huda, MAC. Um, Wet n Wild, Colourpop, NARS, The Rough, Iconic London, Sigma, like you name it, there it's in here. These lip glosses from the Frozen collection are really good too. Becca makes great lip glosses, but yeah, that is the rest of my lip glosses and the rest of this um, dress set. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see like an in-depth organization video or, you know, a tutorial on a specific item. You just let me know and I am here for it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and it always means so much for me to click on my videos and subscribe. So subscribe. We're doing a giveaway of 500 subscribers and we upload five days a week, Monday through Friday here. So come check it out and I will see you in my next video. Bye.